guys! Welcome to G Casina! This is G, and if you're new here, I share cooking and baking recipes, restaurant reviews, food travels, and product reviews, especially the ones that I use in my kitchen, and anything that is food related. And this video is brought to you by Bydeem. They sent me this really nice, good looking, vintage design toaster and it's cozy greenish look at the smooth finish of this one it's really nice it's it's not too light and it's not too heavy i think it's just perfect weight let's talk about the packaging and unboxing it arrived well packaged really came out nicely it made sure that the product is secured inside and when you open it, which was, which was easy to open, you'll find a easy to read and clear instruction user manual. And as you can see, everything looks good here. And now let's talk about the features of this lovely toaster. And it has four toasting slots. As you can see, it's wide enough and perfect for any kind of slices. And also, it has four buttons. And it is dual independent control panels, meaning you can have a control set here and another one here. You could put a different kind of red here and another kind of red, maybe bagel or English muffin. And you can set your own uh, buttons or can use a different control panel and it starts with cancel which you know it could interrupt your toasting process at any time if you want to and i really like the bagel and muffin muffin is like english muffin and so for the bagel or english muffin where it warms it up first and then it just toasts the cut side of the bread i really like that and by the way these four buttons here it has a light indicator when you use it so if you use the bagel or muffin it lights up and for the defrost it, it warms it up first so think about frozen waffle frozen pancakes or bagels so when you have those it's nice to warm it up first and then before toasting it. So that's the defrost function, which I, I'm so impressed about that. I like the, the reheat function where I just want some soft, warm bread, slice of bread without toasting it. So this is a really cool feature for a toaster. It's I think it's a really unique feature. I never had a toaster that has a reheater, even a defrost feature. So also it has the lever here. I mean, you see this in a lot of uh, bread toaster, right? But if you're ready to toast it, just bring it down and lock it and it goes up to, to bring the slice of bread uh, on the top and easy to, to pull out. And also it comes with the control dial here. It's seven shade browning settings so meaning from one to seven it's or from light to dark toes i like using number three i think it's just perfect for what i want for my my bread and here's another cool thing about this is the the slide out crumb tray you, you just have to pull it out and clean it everything that is actually that has been collected all the crumbs that are at the bottom of this toaster you can just like pull it out to clean it which is i think is really cool which i really one thing that i really like about this toaster actually and about the cord it has a cord storage you can just like easily hide the cord if you're not using it makes your kitchen counter clean and organized so yeah you just have to hide it isn't it nice i i i do like this one now i'm ready to test this toaster and i'm actually getting hungry not that i will finish everything in one sitting but i want to try it with 
the English muffin I have here and a blueberry bagel which I really love and two slices of bread so now let's just toast two slices of bread and I'm gonna put this one bread one slice of bread in this other side and the other the other side just so we could check the difference with the browning control or setting that we will use I want to use number three in the browning control this side and this one is five and let's see how long that it actually takes and I just inserted it and let's set number three here sorry you can't see it but I'm just gonna set number three in this side and five on this side and let's start it now and see how it works and you can see the cancel button has uh, has a light indicator and see it's working of course you don't want to cancel it but if you want and to interrupt the toasting process you just simply click or touch that button so, <laughs> and as you can see it takes longer on the other side because we set it up to number five which is a little darker than what we have the number three setting and this is perfect for me this is what i really like oh it's nice and hot and here comes the other one let's see uh oh see it's darker that's why I like number three because though this is good as well, but it really depends on what you prefer. But number three is really perfect for me. And you make sure you don't want to touch. This one is a little warm. It's fine here. I'm testing it for you guys. But this one, of course, it's hot. This part here. And it has a sign that it's hot. So make sure to be very careful with that one. So this is the bagel. This is my blueberry bagel, which I really like. And I'm uh, supposed to just warm it up and toast this cut side of the bagel. And we'll do the same thing here. Let's use the other side for different control settings. Um, so you want to press it down and then hit bagel bagel and same settings maybe number three and five in the side and let's see how it comes out and by the way when i first used this i didn't put a bread in there right away i just run it toast empty without any bread on it i just run it just to release that factory smell when you first open it and after that it was it was fine And there is our first bagel with number three setting. <gasps> oh no! So as you can see, it's it's darker. And how much more with number five, right? <laughs> and number five is not that bad. Well, it looks dark. It kind of looks dark. Definitely looks dark because five. That's why I just like to stick with number three. So when you say toasting, it's a combination of cooking and drying of the bread. So the toasting time really varies on the, the kind of bread that you have. With a slightly dry bread, you might want to use a lower setting that you normally would. And fresh bread or whole wheat bread, you might want to use a higher setting for that. And just want to show you lastly for my muffin and see how it works. It will actually heats up like the both side of the muffin and like on the bagel it only does it on one side of the or the cut side of the bagel right it didn't do it here which is perfect and for the muffins it's supposed to toast it on both sides so let's try that again three and five and you want to press it for two seconds so Muffin would be activated, locked it in lower down position, press it 
for two seconds and two seconds and you'll see that it has the red uh, LED light indicator and that means it's in muffin mode uh, while waiting let me try this bagel uh, I normally would put some cream cheese but I ran out of it I have some almond butter or this strawberry jam but right now I'm just gonna eat it mm. Mm. it's nice and warm can you hear it? I really want to say thank you to Biden for sponsoring this video and for sending me this really nice product I really I'm really happy with this if you're looking for a bread toaster and you, you can check their website and also in Amazon if you check in Amazon you'll find a lot of good reviews about this product that's why I could really attest it at once since I'm using it I'm testing it with you guys with different kinds of bread I'll definitely try it with again frozen waffles and pancakes and I'm kind of excited about that and I just really love this color it's definitely one of my favorite colors it's just so nice it's so pleasing to the eyes and it's just so easy to use right and easy to clean and it's light you can just like take out the crumbs using the crumb tray and or lift it up turn it upside down and nicely shake it to remove all of the the crumbs or the rest of it and here comes our english muffins oh wow this is number five again i love it it didn't burn it which is perfect and this is really good I am seriously happy with this one you should definitely try this I, I'm not kidding here I guess that's it if you're not using it make sure that you take out from the electrical outlet and let's see if we take out slide out the crown trays right now and you'll find some crumbs and you just have to just post it and clean it and later when it cools down a little I could probably turn it upside down and just greatly shake it to remove the rest of the crumbs it looks like it's durable and it has a good quality and I didn't have it I can't really say about the quality of it yet but it just feels like it I just had it for a few weeks so so far so good i'm really happy with the results of my bread except for this one which was <laughs> number five for now i'm happy with my bagel number three and i'm gonna finish this up and i hope you like this video and if you do please like and subscribe and also check out my description box you'll find the links in there for buy team products and also the amazon link and thank you for watching. Bye.